a commercial mower, easy for him to say. Today is a very exciting day because we have two brand new lawnmowers to show you. Oh yes, let's check them out. Tested by Machinery Nation. So you may recognize these mowers. They used to be imported into UK and they used to be green. They used to be John Deere. And they were made for over 60 years until 2020 when Sabo picked up where they left off and improved the models even further. And they made them black and red, which is so exciting because I love black and red. Hence the shirt. So we've got two mowers from Sabo. We have the petrol Yamaha powered and we have the Ego battery powered. Both mowers are exactly the same and we are going to test them on short grass, long grass, check out the decibel rating between the battery and the petrol and also see how well it fills the bag. The first test is going to be on our new lawn at our new property where it is sodden, it absolutely is. sodden. The UK has had about two months of consistent rain and it's the first day we've actually got outside and there's blue sky. There was, it just started raining. <laughs> but but there we are. We're, we're gonna, gonna give it a test. We're gonna make it work. So what better time to test a commercial mower than in the wet? Because we know the commercial gardening guys always wanna know how well a mower can perform in the wet. Well, this is your chance to find out that test. Right, so I think we're gonna turn this into a competition because I'm gonna take the battery one. And I'm gonna have the Yamaha and I've never used a Yamaha mower before. Nor have I. No, so, have I? You see what it does. Something new for all of us. First test is going to be cutting. Cutting in the wet on a mid height. We've already fueled the mowers up. I've got Oregon oil in mine and I've got Aspen 4 stroke fuel in the fuel tank. Yep, and I've just got some electrons in mine. Electrons, volts, amps. And you're all charged up, ready to I'm go. I'm charged up, fully charged on two 12, 12 amp hour batteries. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well excited. Right, let's see how well you start your engine yeah. first, Josh. This hasn't been started yet. It hasn't. So let's see what it does. Take the spark plug out. <laughs> Let's see how easy it is to start mine. Turn the button on. Button on the side. So we'll go into more detail in a moment of how similar these both these mowers actually are. But while we're here, we're going to go down two notches more to cut down lower. And it is single height adjustment on each wheel rather than it being on one height adjuster. Any decent commercial mower is always individual on each wheel. So put them down on two heights, as easy as that. Right, so we have split the lawn into two areas. Josh is going to do the first area with the petrol Yamaha engined mower, and then I'm gonna do the second half with the ego-powered Sabo mower. Oh yes. We started this video when it was sunny and it is now raining. That didn't last very long. But anyway, Josh has nearly got a full grass bag. So once it's full, we're gonna weigh it and then do the same with the battery mower. Right, my bag's full. I'm gonna weigh my bag and then we'll get back to it. Got it, some weight in there. Lift that on. We're weighing in at exactly 16 kilos. Right, let's see how James is getting on. Right, so it's James's turn. I've weighed my bag. I'm not going to tell him how much I've collected. <laughs> Off we go! drizzling ever since I started doing it and let's see how full it is because that is absolutely jam-packed full. Let's weigh this then. She is proper full. It is full, isn't it? Are you here again? Yeah, I am here again. Right. Oh, no. yeah. There we go. We've got oh, 13.8 kilos. Which is heavier? Mine is. Why? What's yours? 16 kilos. No. It was. Was it? Yeah. Hang on. I could, I could, I've got a couple more stripes in mine. <laughs> to be fair, I think most of mine is moss. Right, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, There's most bigger of my volume in moss. <laughs> 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 
But look how full it is. Ah, uh, impressive. Very impressive. I have purchased a very specialist piece of equipment because we are going to do a wind speed test. So I have a window meter. A window meter. That's what I'm going to call it. What, a window. There we go. Yeah, that's yeah. It's going around. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? Aneometer. Easy for him to say. Anyway, we're going to put this at the back of the grass box. Exit, hold, shoot, shoot rear discharge area, and see which one, whether the battery or the petrol, is most powerful. Ideal. Who did it? Yeah. Right. Are you starting it? I'm going to start it. Right, I'd say a rough one there was about 8.2 because it fluctuated between sort of 8 and 8.4. Mm -hmm. Should we try yours? Let's do it. Fire up, Joshy. Right, so that's roughly about 12.5. That's so more powerful. Definitely more, more powerful. Airspeed. More airspeed on the battery powered machine. Cool. Cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some rough cutting. We we're out in the front field. We got some what we call in Devon dash all stuff. And we got some high grass. Thistles, for those who don't know what dash all's are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to rear discharge the machines. We're going to drop out the, the material out the back. So we're going to start on the high cut and then we're going to bring it down as low as we can. And see which one cuts out first or which one struggles. We see if they stall. Out of interest, how much does it cost to fill yours up with petrol? I worked out about £1.65, something like that. That's interesting. And um, what about you? How much did it cost you to charge your two 10 amp hour Ego batteries? Absolutely nothing. Because I got a bank of solar panels. <laughs> setting which is majorly high it's almost like four inches high which is amazing for rough cutting but we're gonna go down because we're not actually cutting anything so we're gonna go down to about half height yep yep cool I've gone down now to one from the bottom so nearly its lowest setting So that's me done. I have stalled the mower. It's on its second from lower setting. But James is still mowing. So just as I turned the corner, my mower cut out. So my line, my mower done two more lines than what Josh has did with the petrol. Right, so how blocked up is it underneath? There we go. That is what it's doing to the mower, but it carried on going until that was absolutely chock-a-block. It just shows the power of the electric mower. So the next test, and probably going to be the clearest winner, is going to be the decibel rating. Now, my money's on the battery machine. They are designed to keep the noise to a minimum. You think so? Yeah. We're going to keep it fair. We're going to measure it from the middle bar just there. So James will do his in a second. I'll do it on the petrol and we'll test the readings. Right, let's check it out. 87.3. Eighty-five point one. So with the wet conditions today, we have certainly proved that these mowers are certainly capable. Mighty impressive. They are mighty, mighty. No impressive. getting away from that. And being that this is a prototype, because it says prototype E on the back of the mower, we are well impressed. Mm -hmm. It Definitely. is really brilliant. And we, really brilliant. And we know that it's built on a well, an established brand. It is. It a is fantastic a fantastic very... bit of kit that's already you know was on the market. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. A big European brand, which I think the UK could do mm -hmm. really, really well with these. Well, they used to be in the UK, Sabo. They did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And people will recognise the name, hopefully. They will. And obviously, as we said before, they were, you know, John Deere mowers were made in that factory and were like these, but green. Mm -hmm. So anyone who liked the John Deere brand can certainly get their eyes on these yeah. mowers for sure. And definitely is the question, will it ever come to UK? Is there a market for it? Do you want one? Yeah, let Did us you know in the comments. Did you have a John Deere mower? Yeah, yeah, there's lots of John Deere mowers out there that mm -hmm. we know of. So perhaps they'll swing across to the old Sabo brand. Mm -hmm. Right, let's check out the specs and see what is actually included when you buy one of these mowers. Right, so it's worth bearing in mind that both these machines are the same. They've got the same chassis, it's just the power plant that is different. 
which makes one difference on the Ego powered machine different from other battery motors on the market, and that it still has a belt underneath driving to the aluminium gearbox on the back of the mower. See, this is the petrol mower with the Yamaha engine, and this actually does come with an anti-vibration system built into the handles. Both mowers have variable speed from Tortoise all the way up to hair. Faber has got a patented design on their fan system, it's called a Turbo Star. Basically, you've got air holes down here, which gives extra airflow and collects those damp clippings which is coupled with an aluminium deck which comes with a 15 year warranty and it's even got bumper strips on the side in case you hit up against the wall. Both machines come with a mahusive 54 centimetre cutting deck and a 75 litre grass bag which is really easy to get on and off. So the mowers are also fitted with heavy duty aluminium wheels and easy folding handles to get into the back of vans and pickups. We have been the first people to get our hands on these mowers in the world hence why we've got prototype written on the back but we have been super impressed with them. Now the reason we've done this video we've been asked by the manufacturer as trusted members of the garden machinery community is that right ooh, to see whether or not this should come to the UK or any other markets around the world. I mean you're familiar with the John Deere brand you know, so it is going to be a quality bit of kit. But what are you interested in? Do you want this to come over to the UK? Have you previously had a mower? What do you think? Drop us a comment and we'll take it from there. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future action. Cheerio! Cheerio!